Okay, uh, so we've been uh, creating our own code files. So let me uh, go to my code space. So if we go here, like, I mean, they're pre-created for you, right? But they are your own uh, code files where you create your own library. And uh, in 510, uh, the author is telling you that you can create functions and different files and then you can help the Python interpreter to find out where your code is by uh, importing files, right? So we've been doing it all along and I've been creating a main function here uh, in 10, uh, 327 right here. So they have this rectangle 2.py file and we have an area, we have a perimeter, but then we have uh, the main function and the main function calls perimeter an area and uh, the author or Python right says that if you write this statement right if underscore name underscore or equals main then to run the main function right uh, we've not been creating all the functions in one file we've been creating separate files <clears throat> because if you go somewhere more than likely this is the type of coding they're going to use right so nothing stopping us from uh, writing oops, from writing the code that the book is recommending right so let me go here so if I go here uh, I'm gonna have to remove that 22 okay tab make sure it has a correct tab okay so let me try to run this piece main right so like I've not been using this format since my only function here is main, is main right but uh, we can do this just to make sure that we're following the, the recommendation that they give us right so use conditional to run uh, main program <clears throat> do any of you like uh, have any like curiosity about why like we name we have like one main function or like why do why do uh, we do that yes i've been wondering why every time we were doing these exercises yeah so in programs java c sharp c plus uh, plus especially c plus plus and java right like in java you can create fun uh, a fun or actually java doesn't work with functions right it only work work with classes so you create uh, one class per file and when you want to run those classes you need one class that has a function named main that's the only way the program gets started and does whatever right like if it's a if it's a console application a windows uh, a console application like the ones we have here right where you see a terminal you need a main if it's a windows application it still needs a main like a main kicks off the program right it may be like hidden from us but a main will always kick off the program the same thing in c sharp and the same thing in c plus plus if you don't have a function named main then the program won't run right so in python you don't there's no requirement to like say like the function must be named main right so let's go here right so let's go here and uh, local variable scope and main right let's 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 try this right like what's gonna happen right so <clears throat> notice it still runs right so so Python doesn't adhere to that like you need a main but since this has been the practice for for decades right probably like 50 years right since the 70s actually uh, where we have a function in main then 
then even though it's not required in Python, authors use a main function so that you can readily identify where your program kicks off, right? Right now, it's kind of easy, right? We don't have we don't have a lot of code. We have what uh, one, two, three, maybe like ten functions, right? But in a big program, that would be like hundreds, maybe even thousands of functions. But if you identify a main.py file and that's where you kick up your program with main, then you know, and you can follow the breadcrumbs to wherever the program uh, flows through. So is it because Python came later after all the other established languages, and so they just carried that in there? Uh, well, actually, they don't enforce it, right? Python okay. came about in the mid-90s, I think, or early 90s, they were building it. And then like it was kind of like out there. But then like in the 2000s, like 2005 or something, it started like picking up a lot of steam. And the 2010s, like it took off. So I don't, I don't know why they decided to be different, but it doesn't surprise me that they're different. I mean, like it's the easiest language to learn, like of the major languages, right? Python, C sharp, Java, and C plus plus. So I guess I would have. I've never done research. Like why did why did they steer away from main? But my my guess is they just use uh, usability or ease of usability for users, right? That way users don't have to be like expert programmers to do this. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's why uh, they do this. Let me see here. Oh, what change did I make here? Actually, I meant to do this. Uh, I added a space here. So let me. Oh, just revert, right? Instead of trying to figure out what I did, revert and discard changes. Okay. If you do that, make sure you want to discard your changes, right? And as long as you don't close the file, you you can bring them back, right? Like, like with Control Y. Well, I guess now once you discard them, that's it. It closes the file for you. So be careful if you're going to use a discard button. Like it'll like send them to oblivion. So be careful with that. Okay. So any other questions on like the main piece? Why why it came about and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would, that would be painful. Okay, so let me stop here.